With Cyberpunk getting its own Steam Deck settings, we thought we'd have a look at what the best configuration was to run Cyberpunk on Steam Deck. Hey everyone and welcome to Steam Deck Gaming, so let's have a look at some configurations for Cyberpunk on Steam Deck. So we've got four running on the screen here, each with different setups, and see which one off the bat you think looks best. One, two, three, or four. Now I'm going to run through each of these configurations and we're gonna just have a quick look at a freeze frame on each here, starting with number one, then two, three, and four. The first one you saw is actually the Steam Deck recommended settings. The second one's slightly tweaked from that to get rid of those motion blur and chromatic abrasion settings. And the third, medium with FSR enabled and four complete medium. So let's have a look at number one then. This is the default Steam Deck recommended settings. So I say recommended, it's just the Steam Deck setting with no modifications. And we can see that we're dropping down into 20 frames per second and it has motion blur enabled, which I really don't like. So let's go on to configuration two where we're gonna turn off all these film grain, chromatic abrasion and motion blur effects tweak down the ultra settings down to just highs and we're also going to enable the FSR to be on ultra quality. And we also have the dynamic resolution off so let's have a look at what that did. Straight away we can see the image difference with that motion blur off it certainly clears things up. We're getting over 30 frames per second most of the time now however that fidelity super resolution does seem to bring in some sharpening effects which doesn't look the best so what if we go down to medium settings with that FSR on quality? Well, it certainly gives a big boost on the frame rates. Getting over 40 frames per second driving around now. Image quality does take a bit of a hit and that sharpening effect really does become a bit more obvious. When we get out and run around, we do see a much better boost to our frames per second and even gets close to that magical 60 frames per second. So it certainly is a lot better with that combination of medium and FSR on ultra quality. I'm sure if we go down into balance, we'll probably get a much more stable 60 frames per second. However, the one that I felt played the best and looked the best overall was just medium straight settings with that motion blur and everything turned off and the FSSR off as well. Now we don't get those over sharpening effects and we just get some smooth gameplay of over 30 frames per second most of the time driving around and 50 plus frames per second when we're out and about on foot. So let us know in the comments below which configuration you've been using and whether you're going to be diving in on Cyberpunk. I am still impressed that it runs so well on Steam Deck. I was hopeful that the frames would be a bit higher and the quality a little bit higher as well. But I think with a bit of tweaking, high settings would be playable here with 30 plus frames per second. But I think medium with FSR off is probably the most stable way to play. Let us know in the comments below what you think. Just going to finish off with a, another refresher of what those four images look like side by side. And you can let us know one, two, three or four, which one you're going to be playing in future. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Steam Deck. and we. We'll see you next time.